them outdoors. We've been doing a little research, trying to see what people are wanting to watch on YouTube right now. And uh, something that we found is the catch and cut videos. People seem to like those pretty good. So we're gonna go out in the morning and get us some squirrels. And it's technically gonna be a kill and cook, but we're gonna call it catch and cook just to keep with the trend. But uh, it's gonna be fun. We got a lot of them. It's gonna be an awesome day. We'll see you then. Guys, we're heading back here to our hunting spot. We had a close encounter right back there. We had two right under our nose. They got on up the hill and got away from us. We're hoping the next ones ain't so lucky. So, hope everything goes all right and we get us some breakfast. coming down off this knob right now we're headed back to the side beside we ain't seeing nothing up here so we're gonna go back down here to where we saw them two a while ago we're gonna sit down and try to wait them out and hopefully they'll come back by well we stopped off at the house on the way back by it took us a shower got Sunday now we're going back up here to this other place we saw them two squirrels and see if we can't get them back coming up the holler here and we sat down right over there we was trying to listen for one and we heard one right over here on the other side of this hill squacking and we come right down here to where I'm at right now and I thought I seen one over moving around so we're gonna try to slip over this hill right here and hopefully he's right there in that tree somewhere and we can get him You get it? You got them both? All right. Well, Jared moved in on them there. There was two of them right over this hill right here. He, uh, he got them both, buddy. I can't believe it, son. We've been all over the country today trying to get on one. They just weren't stirring today. We come up this holler. What? I will if you want me to. We're gonna go on down here and get them out. Get them skinned and get them ready to cook, and then we'll be back in a minute to show y'all how to prepare them. <laughs> Cut. Well, we got us a little uh, screen here with some tan foil on it. This is what we usually cook on when we're out in the woods. You know, we got our squirrels up here. We got them good and clean. And uh, we're about to season them here and put them on the fire. Jared's got it going here pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to be using, just how we do it. Well, we got them on the fire here and we got them getting hot. We got three different kinds of seasoning here. We got Cajun seasoning, which is what we usually use when we're out in the woods cooking. We got garlic powder and we got garlic pepper so we're going to go ahead and just give them a little douse of this and then let it cook a while and then we'll do it again about halfway through and then we'll do it again right before we get them ready to eat
starting to smell good. Guys, they've been on the fire for about five minutes and they're smelling real good. They're starting to turn a nice golden brown color, getting real good and crispy. Won't be long now and it'll be time to be in. Well, there's the finished product, guys. It turned out pretty good. It smells incredible. It turned out nice, golden brown, and crispy. We can, I can't wait to get on it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get our first bite here and see how it is. Here we go, guys. First bite. That's good. It actually, it tastes like chicken. Well, guys. The only thing I can compare it to, and I hear everything compared to it, but I swear it, <laughs> yeah. it, it tastes just like chicken, don't it? it it's really good. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and finish this off here because it is one of the best things we've ever made. So uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all learned something. If you did, that's great. We'll see you next time, but until then, remember to like, subscribe, and slab him, and we'll see you next time.